well student i hope you are doing well today i am going to discuss about the some important example of tnh point group which is very important for your csr net jrf bark gate tfr and other competitive exam so please keep your pen and notebook with you welcome to chemistry endeavor my name is chandan in this unit i will cover dnh point group and some important examples previous year question answer so please write down what is dnh point group a molecule which contains principal axis of symmetry horizontal plane of symmetry and c2 axis which is perpendicular to the principal axis is known as dnh point group okay so what is the combination of dnh point group cn plus n c2 perpendicular to cn plus n sigma v plus sigma h okay so what is the order of dnh point group 4n please write down for example dh3 pcl5 ptcl42 minus and c6h6 that is benzene and other aromatic compound etc okay so let's see what is the point group of bh3 molecule can you draw the structure of bh3 molecule yes you can do it by yourself please try to do it okay so draw the correct structure of bh3 molecule you can see here this is bh3 molecule can you identify the symmetry element present in this molecule yes you can do it so please try to do it by yourself let's see first there is identity and principal axis of symmetry is present which is passing through the origin of the molecule by rotation 120 degree you will get same symmetry molecule right so there is c3 axis of symmetry is present here and there is 3 c2 axis is present which is perpendicular to the c3 axis can you see here yes and three vertical plane of symmetry is present here vertical plane of symmetry a plane of symmetry which is parallel to the principal axis of symmetry right so you can see here vertical plane of symmetry is bisecting two atom that is boron and hydrogen and other two hydrogen atom is deflecting by each other right and there is horizontal plane of symmetry is also present here you can see here horizontal plane of symmetry which is bisecting all the four atoms present in the molecule you know that horizontal plane of symmetry is a plane of symmetry which is perpendicular to the principal axis of symmetry right so this is horizontal plane of symmetry and improper axis of symmetry is also present here can you evaluate improper axis of symmetry s3 how many improper axis of symmetry is present here in s3 s3 is nothing it's a c3 into sigma right so s3 can be written as c3 into sigma so what are the symmetry element present here in this molecule identity 2c3 that is c3 1 c3 2 you know that c3 can be operate n minus 1 time that means two times right and 3c2 perpendicular c3 3 sigma v sigma h 2 s3 that is s3 1 s3 5 we have already discussed it in the previous video how to evaluate improper axis of symmetry right so please do it by yourself so what is the point group of this molecule d3h and what is the order of this point group 4n that means 4 into 3 equal to 12 right next question is what is the point group of dinitrogen tetraoxide molecule can you draw the structure of dinitrogen tetraoxide yes you can do it so please try to do it okay let's see this is the structure of dinitrogen tetraoxide right so what are the symmetry element present here in this molecule can you identify yes you can do it so let's see there is identity c2 axis which is principal which is passing through the origin of the molecule can you see here this is the principal axis of symmetry and there is two c2 axis which is perpendicular to the principal axis of symmetry right can you see here yes and there is two vertical plane of symmetry is also present which is parallel to the principal axis of symmetry right yes and there is horizontal plane of symmetry is also present which is bisecting all the six atoms present in the molecule horizontal plane of symmetry is perpendicular to the principal axis of symmetry right and there is inversion of symmetry is also present here by inverting this molecule you will get 
same additive molecule so inversion is also present here inversion is nothing it's s2 s2 can be written as c2 into sigma h right so please write down s2 equal to c2 into sigma h it will give i that is inversion of symmetry so what are the symmetry element present here identity c2 2 c2 perpendicular c2 2 sigma v sigma h identity so what is the point group of dyne nitrogen tetraoxide d2h right and combination of this point group is cn plus n c2 perpendicular c2 plus n sigma v plus sigma h so what is the order of this point group 8 right 2 into 4 it will give 8 so total number of symmetry element present here in this molecule 8 identity c2 2 c2 perpendicular c2 2 sigma v and sigma h i right i am giving you some problem which is based on the point group i have discussed before and now so first question is identify the point group and symmetry element of the following molecule first pcl5 can you draw the structure of pcl5 yes you can do it second ptcl4 2 minus you know that ptcl4 2 minus is a square planar complex you can try to you can draw it and try to identify the symmetry element present in the ptcl4 2 minus okay and third is c6 h6 that is benzene and fourth is anthracene okay so please try to draw the correct structure and identify the symmetry element present in the molecule okay and write down the point group of each molecule okay next question is the point group symmetry for trans chromium en twice f2 and tiCl6 3 minus respectively okay this question comes from net december 2014 can you identify the point group of this molecule yes you can do it so please try to identify the symmetry element present in this molecule and point group of the molecule next question is the lowest temperature that is minus 98 degrees celsius fluorine 19 nmr spectrum of sf4 shows doublet of triplet okay it is consistent with the point group symmetry is this question comes from net december 2014 okay so what is the point group of sf4 molecule can you draw the structure of sf4 molecule yes you can do it okay so option is c3v c4v td that is tetrahedral and c2v okay next question is the compound n2f2 has two isomers right choose the correct option from the following can you draw the structure of n2f2 molecule yes you can do it both there is two isomers cis and trans you can do it and identify the symmetry element present in this molecule and write down the point group of the molecule then you can identify the correct option of this molecule okay option is both isomer poses sigma v that is vertical plane both isomer poses sigma h horizontal plane of symmetry one isomer has sigma h plane while other has sigma v plane none of them have a sigma h plane please try to do it by yourself rest of the topic i will discuss in next video and these are the problem i will solve in the next video okay so please try to do it by yourself thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you